I think I ate too much cheaters, honestly. Ugh. I've been putting this video off for quite some time now. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So, go check out the first creepy pasta part of the second follow up part of I Eat Pasta for Breakfast. After that thing ended, came this story Soul Fear Feeder. So, we finished up the intro of it. Guess it's just time to get to... <gasps> what the fuck? Part 2. Yeah, it's time to get into part 2. <clears throat> oh man, how am I going to do this? Anyways... This is Saki Kabara slash or and. I just rather prefer and because slash is getting tired. Okay, so Saki Kabara and May Masaki stuff finally went to anime here. And this is another part of it. Okay, like I said, I'm going on with not chapter one for every section I do. Remember. We last left off on chapter 3. Next is chapter 4. And this one is called... I'm a human that lost their... Oh, I know it's called I'm a monster that lost their human memories. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember what happened. Okay. So after the whole thing... The whole weird thing in the swamp of... Oak, Maine, or whatever the fuck the town was called. It's time to get into some dark shit. Owl, Bus, Severus, Pata. Yeah. Oh, I got drugs for a living. No, not really. I wish, though. Take it from this YouTuber right here. Don't do drugs. Just don't. The bad. Anyways. Getting into business. No. Oh. Alright, this should be good. What was that? Oh, never mind. I know what it was. Alright. Chapter 4. I'm a monster. That lost their human memories. Okay. And chapter 4 starts off, starts off with Tomahue Fisher inside the proxy house. Let's get into it. Huh? Where am I? I... I can't see. Wait, who's there? Said Soul Fear Feeder. She's now known as Soul Fear Feeder. Because that's her creepy pasta name. So anyways... Said Soul Fear Feeder in a panic as she tried to get her hands untied. Oh. Oh. She has no eyes, too. I like her. My name is Lucy. Welcome to the proxies, kid, said Lucy, holding her hand out. But when Jeff came down to the basement, Soul Fear Feeder could... Smell alcohol, making her go insane even more. Hmm. Jeff, is that you? It's an honor, but your soul must be fed on, said Soul Fear Feeder. As she said, what am I, damn it? Lazari, this is your fault. Get out of my head. I can't remember who I am, said Soul Fear Feeder as Lucy went upstairs. But when Jeff threw Soul, he whispered to Soul, Who are you? <laughs> Jeff, 
I'm a monster like you. Soul said as she got up off the ground and cut Jeff's left eye out. Yeah, his left eye gets cut out of his skull in this. Anyways, cut his left eye out. Then bit him on the shoulder. Oh, you taste nice, Jeff. I'm not losing to you, Miss Tamaki, said Jeff as Soul fell to the ground. She, uh, she said, God, it was Tommy. God, my head, it hurts. Ouch. God. Kind of like this. Who is me? God. I'm not. No. Stop. I am concert. I'm connected to Lucy and Lazari. Jeff knocked her out and went to Lucy and said, Take Sol to her room. Do not call her by her human name. She said she's your young sister, said Jeff, but this shocked Lucy by a lot. The next day at 12.00 a.m. Lucy's room, or Lulu's room. Get ready for some freaky shit. This is about to go all the way to the bottom. Just warn that room. <laughs> no. Okay, where was it? Oh, yes. 12.09 a.m. in Lucy's room. When Saul woke up, yeah, this is this is what said the next day, twelve dot dot zero a.m. in Lucy's room. When Saul had woken up, undressed with Lucy in bed, Lucy woke up naked with Saul naked too. Hey, Lulu, you up yet? Saul said as Lulu was naked on top of her, saying, "Yes, I am." Will you do it with me? Said Lulu with a evil look as Sol nodded. As Sol nodded her head, they both kissed and did it sexually. Ugh. I mean, <coughs> I'm not feeling too good. I'm sorry. Okay, well, they kissed sexually. There you go. And they did sexy things, if you know what I mean. Ow, bus, Severus, Cedric. Two minutes later, what's a proxy anyway, Lucy said. Oh, no, that's not what Lucy said, I'm sorry. What's a proxy anyway, Lucy, said Sol. Both put on purple sweaters and blue pants with pink bunny slippers you're one of us you're one of us now okay so so slender didn't tell you to put to put it so just smile okay just be yourself okay they walked into the living room Soul fell on the ground as Azari and Soul's head said, You're pregnant. I'm what? Soul passed out as Lulu screamed, Jeff, Slender, anyone else? Get in here. They rushed into the room and saw Lulu on the ground next to Soul. The fuck is she okay? If not, I need to interrogate Miss Soul here. Said Slenderman as Lulu held Soul to the ground and said, No, 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 do not take her away, or I'll hurt you bad. You all, I'll always be there for her. If you try to touch her, I will hurt her bad. And I'll hurt you too, Jeff, said Lulu as she cried. 
with no eyes, as Jeff replied, You can't... You can't do that. You're just a girl who got sent to a hell school. And... We never really did care anyway, except for the rest of me. Well, I don't know. Jeff awoke in an awful rage in soul. As soul leaned up and choked Jeff, she threw him outside. <sighs> yeah, as he choked Jeff, she threw him outside with a hellish smile. <sighs> kind of like that. <laughs> that scared everyone except Lulu. Okay, Jeff. I'll kill you. Or you can say sorry. Never. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never, said Jeff, as he spat blood on Soul, but she grew claws out of her fingers. Fine. I'll just kill you then, Jeff, said Soul with an evil look. Fine. I'll just kill you then, Jeff. Kind of like that. And that concludes chapter 4. But we're not done with the reading yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see, because that was barely a fucking video. Let's get over to the next one. Ugh. How about Severus? What a cadaver! Okay, chapter 5, Jeff versus Soul. Come on, you can't be so scared now, right? Soul saw all the fear in Jeff as she zoomed in the air and kicked Jeff in the face on a heavy impact. Bang! <sighs> Come on, kid, that's hurt. Don't go so cold on us, said Jeff as he stood up fast. He saw Soul with a lighter, which scared him a little bit. This, 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 that's not funny. It's not funny? Huh, it's funny to me, Jeff. See, Lazari, you gave me this power to stop time, and she told me everything about you, said Saul, with a smile of horror on her face. She stopped time, then waved her hand down her face and got her eyes back and saw a 12-year-old girl with a pink shirt and a set of brown shoes and blue pants and a brown colored hair. It was, Lazari. Hi, Tamaki. This is the power I gave you. My older sis helped me make it, said Lazari, standing next to Sol. Who's your older sister, if you don't mind, said Sol, not remembering who Tamaki is. A 19-year-old girl named Stripes had a white and red shirt and red eyes, black and white hands and arms and legs. On one leg had a mouth. She had brown hair and a face with many holes and horns. You can call me Stripes, so me and Lazari are your inner demon, if you will. But if we mix, we become soul fear feeder. Okay? Get that through your skull, said Stripes as soul tossed the lighter 
on Jeff. She lost her eyes again as time began again. She lost her mind saying, Who am I? It hurts to remember, said Soul as she screamed out of pain. She is Albus Severus Dickery. No. Albus Severus. Anyway. Damn it. I'm gonna kill this girl. I'm not dead yet, so. Huh? Oh, God. Jeff saw the lighter. He felt the fire on him. And as Jeff burned, Saul ran to him with a chainsaw and said, Die in hell. As Saul said that, and chopped him in half, she had heard someone run to her. Make me feel good inside, said Lulu. Okay, I hope I hope you're ready for this, viewers. Okay, it's about to get really weird. Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you made me feel good, said Lulu, as she kissed Saul and was undressed. Hey, sis, are you naked again? Said Saul, as Lulu said, yes, I am. Why? Uh, nothing, never mind. But let's get you inside, said Eyeless Lulu, with a smile. Okay. 12 p.m. Proxy House. Good. They are both asleep. Let's begin the meeting, said Slenderman, as he sat down. Huh. Well, that's strange. Ben isn't joining us tonight? I is he? Said Toby. No, Toby! Yes. Let's see, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> ben isn't joining us tonight, is he? Said Toby, as he looked at Hoodie and Jack. No, he's not. But Jeff, he... He... Jack had ran out of words as he saw Toby punch Hoodie to the ground. As he punched him... Over and over. There was something. Yeah. This must be a vision or something. Because Hoodie is supposed to be dead, but... I think I'll explain that later in part three. Okay. Where was I? Yeah. He punched him over and over and over saying, Stop crying, damn it. Stop crying, damn it! <sighs> okay. Let's see, what is it? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to find the word next day. Ah, as next day came, Slender saw, saw and Lulu were gone. As a message on the wall said, They're ours now. Damn it, Saga. Or now, Lazari. They're ours. What are you and Stripes planning? Said Slender Man. As he slowly lost hope of saving them. And that's chapter 5 done. Uh, let, let me see something. Oh. Well. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna finish up this part over here and then the next video will probably be part three of this Al Buzz Severus decorate okay viewers you're about to see me with my glasses but I'm really not looking forward to this but You guys didn't think I had glasses, did you? Oh, what a shocker. Saki Kobara made Masaki stuff a funny, healthy white anime. Has glasses. 
Well, doesn't everybody nowadays? Plus, whenever I'm reading a Stephen King book, like, example, The Running Man, I had to stop reading that, like, 37 pages in. It was so fucking boring. So now I'm going to switch over to Shawshank Redemption. Okay. Hopefully, this will make it better for me to catch up with where we are. I kind of made this story to fit in there like a short novella. Remember, this is the second part a few months later. Okay? Like I said, go watch the first video. Mm hmm. You follow me still? Cool. Go watch the first video. And then, if you haven't already, just. I, I don't know, I'm running out of words here. Just watch the first video if you haven't already. This is spoilers from that video. If you don't know what's going on yet, why the fuck do you even want to fucking watch this video? Ugh, I need to take a drink of my goop juice. Okay, I think I have enough shield for the storm. Uh. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so to finish things off of the second segment of the second part of I Eat Pasta for Breakfast, it starts with chapter 6, and then I think, what's the next one? Yeah, I forgot if it, chapter 7 right there, okay, well that's easy enough. Okay. After this, you remember how I said that they got captured by Stripes and Lazari. So here we go. Chapter 6. Two and two sisters and the capture that made Sol and Lulu evil. Yeah, Lulu becomes evil and completely insane. Hey, where are we? Huh? Lily realized sh where she was. She was chained to a bed and had her eyes back. Along with Lulu was Sol tied to a chair. Sol and Lulu was covered in blood while they were naked. Well, we can see. Huh? Who? <laughs> Who is that? Hey, get off of her, said Sol, with a ton of anger built up inside her. But as Stripes got on Sol and got naked, she said, Hi, Tamaki. You're scared, aren't you? No. No. I'm, I'm not. I'm not scared at all. And no, I'm not Lazari, so get off Lulu, said Sol, as she remembered who she was. As the ropes on Tamaki burned away, Tamaki hopped on Lulu as she was still chained, and as they were still covered in blood, they both kissed but as the chains unleashed Lulu, both Lulu and Tamaki had white hair, and they weren't completely, well, give or say, let's just say this, they went completely evil. Now what I mean, we're both evil, so... Should we kill the Slender Man? said Tomkey with an evil smile. Well, Stripes, yes, Miss Lulu and Miss Tomkey, said Stripes nervously. Get us both a black jacket and black pants and shirt and black shoes, said Lulu as Tomkey put her arms above her head. And I forgot to mention that they both said that. 
the whole shirt and you get the idea. Anyways, after the whole jacket thing comes this. As they said at the same time. A few minutes later, they cleaned off the blood and got dressed to kill Slender Man and the rest of the proxies. Oh crap. Slender, it's them, Toby said, with a feeling of fear. When Slender Man saw Toby open the door, Tom, he cut his head off with a katana. Lazari fed. Well, you know what that means. She ate Toby. Okay? So this whole fight that's about to happen, she's steady eating him. Which is disturbing, in a way. But you already know the lore of how she eats and stuff, so... Okay. Yeah. Okay. As is Yeah. <laughs> Lazari fed, that's funny. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Lazari, keep feeding. Yes. Tamaki. As Lazari fed over and over on Toby's corpse. But both Tamaki and Lulu were fighting. Lulu was trying to kill Jack and Ben. But Slender Man knocked out Lazari, and Lulu was fighting Ben, but Ben fell to the ground as Lulu jumped on Ben. She tried to stab him, but she got Katana out of her left arm, and her hand too, and Hoodie chopped off Lulu's left arm. That's right. Lulu gets her left arm chopped off by Toby. Okay. Albus Severus Pada. Okay. But as Lulu held her left stub on her arm, she fell on her knees. She screamed in a lot of pain. Huh? Lulu! As Tom, he ran over, Lulu had been killed from Ben cutting her neck. Okay, then this happens. But as Lazari woke up, Stripes and Tommy were at base. I'm going to be honest at this current Point. I need to die to save Lulu, or else, said Tomki, as she started to look like a demon. We will kill them all. Okay, chapter 7 time. Okay. Ah, fuck my head. Not. Ugh, no. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Hazari screamed as she knew it. Sad to be. And looking as it was, I can't say stripes. Uh was it Elias? I can't I can't remember. I'll just say this. Since I put a slash there. Okay. Stripes were looking at a 23-year-old Tomki and 24-year-old Stripes. They were sending Tomki to a land of souls. Hey, will I be normal? Yes or no, Elios, said Tomki as she died on a... Operation table of fire. But, you know, she was sent to the land of souls after all. A land of fire and brimstone. 
Lulu, sis, where are you? I'm here. Lulu stood walking to Tamaki, but as Lulu got to her, she choked the living fuck out of Tamaki and killed her. Tamaki, which made Lulu return to her body, but the soul of Tamaki went to a girl named Jessica Sedrise as her body was left in the land of souls of fire and brimstone. Anyways, she went to a girl named Jessica Tomkey. Huh? I have to use the bathroom for a minute, said Jessica. Huh? Why? Hm. Uh, why are my clothes black? I can't remember. No. Huh? Why? Why is this happening? My head, it hurts so much. Said Jessica Sadrise as she passed out on the floor. Okay, and that concludes chapter 6 and 7 of this second segment of the second thing of I eat pasta for breakfast. Next, next time is going to be part 3 of the second part of pasta for breakfast. Which is called Soul Fear Fida Jessica Said Rise. And that's going to conclude for right there, chapter 8, A Hellish Life. Well, got to get back to my spot on what I was working on, the third thing. So I think after that, yeah, I go straight to pen, which is going to be way easier reading. Because chapter 9 is called A School Dance. And then after chapter 9 comes, well, chapter 10. Which, I'm not going to give a spoiler, but some very, very important details come into chapter 10. I mean, not chapter 10, fuck, chapter 9. Uh. And the very, very, very important creepypasta, and the famous one at that comes into the mix so be ready for that viewers i'll give you a little hint her name starts with a k and ends with a k oh could you guess it i'll give you at least a few minutes to guess it oh you guessed it? No? You couldn't guess it? It's Killing Kate. You know, the girl that gets her throat slit open while she's killing her brother and her whole family? Yeah, that girl with the red and brown hair and the yellow eyes of sharp teeth and whatever weapon she's carrying with a black dress and red and black sleeves or whatever. And whatever her pants color is, I can't remember. But basically, let me show you. I'm going to show you an image of her. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here she is. The one and only. Let me show you a few pictures, actually. Yeah. Killing Kate. That's her. Or just known as Kate. And her saying right there is, I'm not crying, I just can't stop bleeding. Which that's also her right there. Now, let's see something. So I want to see something right quick, hold on. I don't know this girl's name, well, was it up a little bit? No. It must have been her friend or something. I can't find it. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Who the fuck is that blonde person? I can't remember. And <laughs> free hugs, that's funny. But yeah. Basically, just get ready for some action. So Killing Kate is on the menu of this story.
But you see, you were wondering if I was ever going to put her in there. Well, my friend, she's in there. And badass as ever. So there's a little character analysis for you there. Hmm. Wait, where is the one of her smiling with the very sharp teeth? Damn it, I can't find it. Okay, well, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, I can't find it. But, there you go. She's gonna be in there. Jeff is dead. He died. Lulu is evil. Well, Tom Key Fisher is so fear fear. She, uh, she went to, um, a girl named Jessica Sedrise, which is a teenager and is a girl. Let's get that straight right now. But anyways, this has been the other half of the second part of Pasta for Breakfast. And then we're going to work on the chapter 3 of the second part. So this has been Mei Masaki or Jigga Diggy Diggy Leggy. No, I'm just kidding. Let's be real now. This has been Saki Gabara and Mei Masaki. Stuff of funny one to anime here. And have a good night, everybody. Peace. Or I swear, I swear, this girl will be on your doorstep. Yes, she will. Here she comes now. I know she's already at my doorstep. So, yeah, that's that. Let's see. Let me... Yeah. Here she comes. To our doorstep, everyone. Stay tuned for... Jessica Sedrise with Killing Kate as her friend. Peace, y'all.